Hello, today is March 24, 2022. Uh, let's do update on the Ukraine war. Uh, first, let's go to see the Mariupol. There is some announcement from the Russian side. Uh, the official announcement is that Russian cut off the Arrow Steel, the steel factory, from the hotel chain. Some people say hotel area is this area. I found out uh, there is only one small hotel in this area, but uh, there is dozens of hotels in this area. Uh, in, in this area. So I'm pretty sure uh, I'm, I'm like 90% sure it's cut this side uh, versus the steel factory. Uh, I have another evidence to support that. Uh, see, yesterday there was the yellow one was happened uh, 12 hours ago, between 12 hours and uh, 24 hours. So there was very heavy fighting close to the corner of this uh, connection between the steel factory and the, the hotel area, right? There is a sporadic fighting on the other side. There is probably one big building and then another big building, another big building. And then most of the area now is under Russian control. But some of the big hotel or high-rise building, uh, high-rise building is similar to like a big mountain, right? So uh, if the Ukraine army s uh, got it very tightly, it's almost uh, incredibly difficult to overcome some high-rise building. So uh, I assume there are still some area was still occupied by the Ukraine. But the majority of the fighting, majority of the problem actually lies in this downtown city hall. Uh, CNN and the Fox News all made a mistake. They think the city hall is in here. No, it's not there. It's actually, city hall is right in here, around here. Uh, the same, like the, the uh, the art suit, like a uh, art artist suit, uh, uh, like uh, is here being bombarded, and the city hall is very close to that. Uh, what happened to this area is that this is a commercial center. Most of the high-rise building stay like a hotel, commercial, big like a skyscraper. Uh, they are in here. So we can also see from the map, this is looks uh, from that map is very small, but uh, in here you see this particular area is very big. See how many buildings in there, over like maybe a hundred uh, buildings. Some of them very big, very high, very tall. So this area is very difficult, like this is the art museum, see, it's the art theater. Uh, I think a municipal government is probably this one. Yeah, this is a municipal government. So uh, this is going to be very difficult to fight for the Russian. Like uh, Russia is in the rural area. Uh, there is no cover. The Ukraine soldiers have no place to hide. So the rural area, even small village is no problem for Russia. But in the city center, in the high-rise building, like a, maybe there are f like a 50 story high-rise building, it's incredibly difficult. Like those big concrete building, right? Uh, there's, there's, the airplane uh, is useless, right? Uh, and uh, you have to use soldier fight building by building, street by street. So we can see most of the fight is actually in this high-rising commercial area, heavily hotel, heavily 
business uh, center, uh, and uh, including the government. And this is a high quality, high rise residential, like a high priced, uh, high end uh, residential building. Uh, so Russia was fight very hard yesterday around this area. I think that's what they talk, they control, eventually control this tall building and uh, maybe also around here so that uh, nobody like uh, can cross this uh, highway very easily. So these two sides, this is the only bridge that separated the two. So they eventually effectively cut this off from the steel factory. See, most of the Ukraine soldier, they obviously anyone, if they, you want to choose where to fight, obviously Ukraine soldier would want to fight in the high, very high, like a tall skyscraper, like a commercial high rise building, right? Which is here. Here is some part of the medium sized building close to the uh, factory, probably is the employee of the factory living around here. So, so we are pretty sure this side has already been cleared. So, and also there is heavy fighting around this area. There's maybe even like a, like a Russian trying to amphibious landing uh, near the Azov Sea. So, and per, like even this morning, there is still some fighting going on. So some building, maybe not all the buildings, some buildings, maybe a few still controlled by Ukraine uh, soldier. So you can see this is really big, this area is nothing small. There is two dozen high-rise building around here. So the fight was very heavy here and very heavy here. Uh, it also very heavy in the steel factory, right? It, it, yesterday there was a not so right dot. Uh, maybe, let me refresh, maybe there is something new. Uh, still pretty much the same. So this is the one only happened within the six hour, like uh, sometime this morning. Um, the, the the yellow one is like a 12 hour to 24 hour. So I think uh, today they were still fighting very hard in here and they're still very hard in the steel factory. Some of this dot probably will be overcome by the Russian. So, uh, Russian and like a Ukraine soldier are running all very low in ammunition, water, and the supply. So there's no outside uh, supply to like a, uh, to feed them. So I think uh, there's not much uh, strength, um, not much ammunition left for the Ukraine soldier. So the the the. Mariupol should be overcome uh, in the next few days. Um, that's the uh, situation in here. Uh, another information is that uh, um, there is uh, another confirmed information that uh, Izum, uh, the fight on Izum is finally over. Uh, they this is a very vital position uh, for both sides. So Irum fight here is finally over. They, this one, uh, Ukraine uh, occupied area is finally all gone. Like all, everything is, uh, all the area is controlled by the Russian now. So this is uh, very vital, as we talked earlier, this is a crossroad to this major highway here, connect this northern route to the west part, right? So this is why both sides fought very hard. This is an ugly fight here. Uh, so now, 
we're pretty sure that um, on the southern side, I would, I would say 50% of the force are concentrated on Mariupol. Maybe 80% of the best troops are also in the Mariupol. So once Mariupol, the war finished there, it is very likely they will push this, this land somewhere, somewhere here, from here, and from here they will definitely push here to overcome this city. Or even the highway around this city to cut off this big area and also this area. This there's heavy Ukraine soldier in here and also in here. Kormor Tosca, this area, right? So this area, Severno Donetsk as well. Uh, um, this 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 two this area is heavily populated by Ukraine soldiers. Uh, plus here the total power is like a thirty to forty thousand. Uh, the twenty thousand in Mariupol has been uh, like a diminished, right? They are like almost gone. Only like a few thousand, maybe five to. 5,000 still in Mariupol. Uh, so once, I would think like uh, the Russian soldier in Mariupol probably is around 50,000 or even more, right? So the 50,000 soldier, once they finish Mariupol, this side move to the north would be very fast because each of these places, there is only probably only one or two brigades, right? They, they, like each day they go to one village or to two villages or to three villages. That means the force there is only like a one or two brigades. Once the soldier finished the, the Mariupol, the move to the north would be very fast. And the Ukraine soldier in here, you better withdraw before they finish Mariupol, right? It's better to withdraw to Dnipro. Otherwise, in the open field, there's no high-rise building, or even just mediums as like a five, five story, ten, six story. Those are not a big deal for uh, Russian, right? Um, but uh, there is, if there's 20, 50 story building, that would be incredibly difficult to overcome. Uh, unless you cut out all the food supply, water, everything, like ammunition, right? That's what is happening in Mariupol. So Mariupol is almost certain will be overcome very soon, and the force will move northward to circle this part, of like 30 to 40. Uh, uh, and after this one, after they defeat the, the eastern frontier, they will then turn back, turn around and fight the Kharkiv. Uh, they are not going to fight the two places simultaneously. Uh, and the soldier in the Hersen area to the south of Dilipro, I think they are pretended to do attack, similarly like a uh, Kiev area. They are just pretended and put a pressure around the Kiev so that the soldier will stay to the west of the Kiev and to the south and the east of the Kiev, right? Kiev probably attract 30% of Ukraine force. Uh, there is another big force in Odessa and the uh, Makhlev area. But uh, they are really not trying to, at least this is probably their secondary consideration, right? They, 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 they try to push the north this is very good because the the soldier on the uh, on the east of, uh, of the Dnieper River will will panic, right? They will say, "Oh, we are cut off with supply and uh, and we draw route to the west, right?" They will panic. There, there, there. They will lose confidence. Maybe even like a uh, uh, scatter around, right? This is all possible. So, and when this one going north. It put a pressure on the uh, soldier in, in along this line. 
and uh, they also relieve pressure for this one to easily push northward. In fact, uh, even if without this, this would be very easy because there is a big force uh, come from the Mariupol and uh, they are much bigger than this, like uh, 10, 20 times bigger than the force already in here. So um, I think uh, these are just to help the other side. And if they are successful, they also put a bigger pressure on his this side. So that's what I think I'm still hold the uh, opinion that this side, especially on the uh, Kiev area, they just uh, tie up the soldier uh, and uh, make uh, the life easier for the Russian to take a control of the heavily uh, Russian ethnic population area, which is uh, this Luhansk, Donetsk, plus like a Kharkiv, Dnipro, uh, Mariupol, uh, like uh, like uh, Zaporo and also Hershen area. So this is their minimum is on the south. The, f the north area, see, they never really spend uh, energy to attack a big city because big city is very difficult. It costs uh, life, cost ambulation, right? It, it's very difficult. The cost is very high. They are not going to attack any big city to the north. They, but uh, to the south, they will take over both city and the territory. That's their uh, strategy. All right, thanks for watching. Um, please subscribe and uh, share among your friends uh, so that uh, it gives me more incentive to do better job. Thanks a lot. Thanks for watching. And uh, when you subscribe and uh, hit the red button, uh, you will also easily see my next update tomorrow. Thanks, bye.